guys. Today we're going to be announcing the giveaway winner, but first I wanted to do this tutorial for you. It's very short and simple. I already have my face done, but I just wanted to show you guys how I did this blue eyeliner look because I did have a few requests in the last video that I posted, the giveaway video. So before we get into who won the giveaway, I'm going to show you this tutorial. And if you guys want to skip to who won because you're that anxious, uh, go ahead and click the annotation right here and just skip on through. But anyway, for those of you who are interested in seeing how I created this look, please keep watching. So I started off with NYX's BB creams in the color Natural and Golden, mixing the two together. And then I primed and concealed my eyes with Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer in the color Neutralizer. And then set everything with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So basically, I'm just going to be taking this pencil. This is a L'Oreal Color Riche Eyeliner in the color cobalt I absolutely love this it's beautiful it really just gives that really nice pop of color for the summer pulling your look together even though you're not wearing a lot of makeup so basically what I'm gonna do is just line the top of my lid and I'm not going all the way into the inner corner kind of just starting right where your iris is and going outward Now you can use this to wing it out if you want to, or you can just leave it how it is. I do like a little bit of a wing, so I'm going to start the wing with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a angled brush to kind of help me wing it out a little bit. I really try hard not to toggle my eye, but I don't know. I just can't get a really precise line unless I kind of toggle on it a little bit. So just be careful if you're doing that. And for the inner corner, you don't want it to be like eyeliner and then bare eye. You really want it to kind of feather its way in. So just kind of do that very lightly. Kind of drag that eyeliner in. But again, just do it really, really lightly so that it's not touching all the way in the inner corner. By not dragging the eyeliner all the way in, it gives your eye a more open and awake look. So that goes with any eyeliner, whether it's blue, black, whatever color you're doing. I just always like to kind of leave that inner corner bare just because it does help me look more awake. Um, and then, you know, it depends on my mood as well. But for today and for the look that you guys saw in the video, this is what I did. So that's pretty much it. You can go through and touch up any spaces that you feel like you need to. For the bottom waterline, I'm just using this Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter and Crayon. And this again is going to make you look even more awake by putting like a nude eyeliner on your waterline. Um, not white because then that's going to look absolutely crazy, but by doing a nude line on the waterline, it's going to make your eyes definitely look a lot more awake. You can choose to skip this. You can leave it bare. You can put black on if you want to, but this is just what I chose to do. I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is Jordana Best Lash Mascara. You can play it up and put like a blue mascara on, but I think it might be just a little bit too much for me. Um, so I'm just going to use black. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my contour and already highlighted and everything. So I'm just going to do my bronzer and blush and everything like that. For my contour, I'm going to be using the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. And then I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer and just bronze up my cheeks a little bit. I also like to use this because it really helps blend out my contour. I 
And then for blush, I'm using Wet n Wild's Heather Silk. I love this blush. I have repurchased this millions of times. Well, maybe not millions, but. And it's only like $2, so. For lips, I'm using my favorite lipstick in the drugstore. This is Revlon's Prim Rose. I believe this is getting or is discontinued, but if you can get your hands on this thing, I love it. It goes with almost every look, and it's like not overpowering, but it's not like to where you can't see that there's nothing on your lips. It's just so beautiful. I love it. This is just like that perfect pinky purple color. And then to top that off, of course, we're going to put a lip gloss on top. And this is, of course, a NYX Butter Gloss because you know I love these babies. And this is in Marinade. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but of course it will be in the bottom bar. And this is just going to play up the color a little bit. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's get into who won this giveaway, shall we? Okay. So in my little bag here, I have a bunch of goodies. Um, I posted a giveaway if you did not know about it, and there will be more, so don't worry if you didn't. Um, but it is a bunch of NYX products, and if you guys want to see what this person had a chance to win, you guys can check below. We'll have the link down there for you. So the way I picked this winner was put it in the hands of my friends and family. I had my dad and his girlfriend each pick a name. They don't even really know what YouTube is, so I thought that it would be fair. Um, so I pulled up the page of comments and let them scroll down and each pick a name, and then I made them battle it out and play rock, paper, scissors to see who won. So, the person who won is, um, I wrote it down in my notes because I didn't want to uh, mess the name up. Let's see. Madeline Crowley. I don't know if I'm saying that last name right, but I hope so. Madeline Crowley, you're the winner, so congratulations. Um, please send me an email. All my contact information is down below. So please send me an email so I can have your address and get everything sent out to you as soon as possible. So congratulations, and for all of you who entered, thank you so, so much. I am going to be doing other giveaways, so don't be sad, don't be discouraged to enter the next one. I'm not sure if it's going to be on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, so just go ahead and keep checking back. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. Congratulations to the winner, and best of luck to all of you guys to the next giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye!